Okay, we have a twist of fate. So something very unexpected is about to happen. I'm hearing make it rain. So for some of you guys, this has to do with um, financial wealth and abundance. Some of you guys, there is some type of money coming in that you are not expecting. I'm hearing make it last, make it last forever. And I'm really getting the sense of like, this is enough money for someone that it's going to, like it's gonna have you set or set up for the remainder of your life. And I'm hearing and beyond. So this is something that is coming in and for some of you guys, it's going to lead to some type of generational wealth. Like this is money that you're going to be able to not just um, invest in yourself, but also you're going to be able to leave money um, for your, you know, children. And I'm hearing your children's children. Okay. Uh, relationship challenges is the next one. So yeah, I mean, I'm hearing more money, more problems. So for some of you guys, this is going to cause quite a bit of a stir, of a ruckus, um, as it relates to some of your relationships, especially with um, family. Um, and I'm hearing and friends, so family and friends. And I'm really getting the sense of like, these are people that, these are not your ride or die, right? These are not the ones who like you can count on them through thick and thin. These are what I'm hearing fair weather friends, right? So when everything is going good, when everything is going great, they are all up in your mix and all up in your energy. But let you, um, have some type of trouble or let you need them for something, um, they're nowhere to be found. So for a lot of you guys, you have already been separated from this group of people or from this crowd of people. And um, the guidance is for you to not allow these people back into your um, energy, into your space. Do not give them time. Do not give them money. Um, it's not about revenge. So I feel the need to make that clear. This is not about be, this is not about revenge. This is not, um, you know, uh, I'm hearing something about holier than thou. So I don't know if some people were kind of acting that way towards you or it's guidance for you to not all of a sudden start to kind of get into that, um, mode where you're like gloating, um, and showing off. But either way, um, whoever these people are, they don't deserve a dime is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you'll know who they are. Yeah, emotionally detached is what I was guided to. So one of your life lessons that you've had to learn thus far has to do with det detaching um, from a lot of material things from and from a lot of people. And so um, I don't really get that this is going to be hard for you to do, um, but just it's for you to be aware that you're going to have a lot of people running in. Um, you, you remember when? Like, you know, yeah. Obstacles will clear. So I'm kind of getting the sense of like, you know, this is going to be number one. If you are currently facing some type of obstacles, um, especially financial, they're about to clear up very soon. And then also the obstacle of like this, this, these fair weather friends and family members that try to run in, um, it might, you know, like they're there, it's going to cause a stir, but as soon as quickly as they come in they're gonna see that they're not getting anywhere with you like those old i'm hearing tricks of the trade right those old things that they could do to kind of pull on your heartstrings are just not gonna work this time i'm hearing oh you done effed up now so they're gonna realize that they um they really messed up um i'm getting the sense of like you went through something where you really needed um, some type of um, assistance um, and no one was there for you. 
Yeah, it says embrace the mystery of the unknown. So um, this is for me, this is like not, um, don't get so focused. Don't be so focused on like, how is this going to happen? Where is this money coming from? When is it going to come in? Like just keep doing your, I'm hearing your thug fizzle. So if you're working on something, keep working on it. And, um, I'm hearing que sera, sera, que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. So just kind of keep that uh, mentality because remember part of your lesson that you've had to learn had to do with being emotionally detached and that's from people, places, things, etc. right? So if you start to, I'm um, kind of getting into like feeling like someone who's getting into like some type of uh, obsessive compulsive type um, thoughts and behavior, um, don't, don't bring that energy back. Um, that's something that's going to repel whatever this is that's uh, trying to come into you. So, um, yeah, yeah, it says, make sure this relationship is mutually beneficial. So anyone who comes into your life from this point forward, um, it needs to benefit you in some way. And the only person that can determine whether or not, um, a relationship is beneficial to you, um, you, that's you. You're the only one who can determine that. Do not allow other people to try to tell you what you should value. If you don't value it, that's fine and that is okay. If it don't fit, you must acquit. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. I'm also hearing, I have an idea. So I think that was like on a cartoon or something, but it's kind of like you're also going to get a lot of people like you may have family and, and friends that come in and they may, you know, be like, you know, oh, I have like this uh, really good business idea or, you know, something like that. But um, if you decide that what they're talking about is actually worthy of your time, attention and financial backing, right? Um, it's not you doing it. I'm sorry, this, this might seem, you know, this might trigger a couple of people, but it's not you doing it out of the kindness of your heart. No, you need to get something um, out of the deal as well. I'm hearing, I got to get mine. You got to get yours. I got to get mine. Yeah, it's, it's something like that. So yeah, yeah, emotional boundaries are needed. So again, you're not doing things just because like, you know, um, you're blood related to someone or you had some past relationship with someone. Um, also, I'm getting the sense of like, if uh, this, if you have some type of money that's coming in, don't tell your business. Like if people ask you, oh man, like, you know, let's say you win the lottery. Oh, how much did you win? None of your business. Oh man, you got an inheritance. How much did they leave you? None of your business. Or, you know, like you don't have to say it that way. I'm I'm a pretty direct and blunt person, like none of your business. And I'm not talking about this with you, but you could just say, you know, oh, you know, it's enough. I got enough. Yeah, I'll get by, you know, just something like that. Just kind of downplay it. Um, but don't get into that where um, I'm hearing something about counting your pockets. You might have people that are trying to count your pockets. Um, yeah. 